morning students how are you okay are you listening the instructions of your parents yes very good okay students so you have to stay in home okay don't out come out and if you go out for any reason then you have to use your mask and okay and you have to keep the social distance okay students okay very good so students today we are going to study from our abs book lesson 14 and the lesson name is plants around us okay last time we have studied air around us so now we will study about plants around us okay students when we we'll, um uh, when we see around us there are many types of plants okay so now from this lesson what are the things we are going to learn okay the first things we will learn from this lesson uh, you can see here okay in this lesson we will, we are going to learn that the first things we will learn the parts of plants and then the second thing we will learn types of plants and the third things we will learn use of plants okay students so these three things we are going to learn from this lesson again once more i'm repeating uh, what are the things we are going to learn from this lesson and then the first one is part of plants and the second one is types of plants and the third one is use of plants okay students so these three things we are going to learn from this lesson okay are you ready for for this lesson okay 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 let's go students okay uh, we see many plants are growing around us they need air water and sunlight to grow uh, sunlight to grow they make our surrounding fresh and clean okay students it's a uh, um, very uh, much important Okay, so students, uh, when we see around our house or around our school, we find different types of plants, isn't it? Okay, so, the, so all the plants, whether that is small or whether it's a big, the one thing is common, they all need air, water and sunlight. Okay, students, so you have to keep in mind all the plants, whether that is very small or it's a very big, that all plants need air water and sunlight okay as we need a food water okay to grow and stay alive the same way the plants also to need uh, stay alive or grow they need air water and sunlight okay students and uh, there are a uh, different types of plants in uh, our surrounding okay and uh, they, the, all that plants have a uh, different types of leaves, different in a color, in a different in a size. Okay, uh, so whether whatever color it is, but they all need air, water, and sunlight. Okay, students, when the questions comes, uh, what things that plants need to grow? So your answer should be the plants need air, water, and sunlight to grow. Okay, now the second thing is students they make our surrounding fresh and clean yes students the plants plants have the uh, very important role in our uh, ecosystem okay so students if uh, uh, if we want to live a lab then we have to we have to uh, plants more tree and uh, that plants has a important role for our life okay so students one thing is that is very good that we have to keep it in mind okay uh, what we breathe in air what we do we take oxygen isn't it and we release uh, carbon dioxide okay so and the plants they take in carbon dioxide and they release the oxygen okay student so that's why it's a, a very close relations we have with our plants okay so if there is a no plants you might feel that it's a very hot and it's a very difficult to breathe okay student so that's why the that air uh, that the plants they help us they provide us oxygen okay not only they provide us the oxygen but also they keep fresh and clean so nowadays we have already studied about the air around us and how the how the air is polluted okay so we have already studied so if we have a more plants then what they will do um, the plants will absorb the that carbon dioxide and they will release the oxygen for us 
okay students and uh, that way they help us our surrounding fresh and clean okay do you understand students okay very good so students now we are going to uh, move forward and uh, that is the next is uh, parts of plants okay so now we uh, now we will learn about the parts of plants okay students look at this picture okay i'm not good in a drawing uh, i have tried okay now students you can see here the plant uh, one pictures of plants okay so uh, mainly we have uh, six uh, parts in a plants whether that is small plants or uh, uh, or big plants okay but some plants doesn't have all these parts okay but basically most of the plants have these parts okay the first one is roots okay the roots cannot be seen because it is the root always inside under the what under the soil okay students so root is always under the soil so we cannot see it but if we dig then only we can see okay the main part of the un under the under the soil uh, that is roots okay student and then the next one is the steam okay we can see here this is the steam and this picture this one you can see this is the steam okay students and uh, it has also important role so we will discuss later about the uh, what the role they have okay and then students and there is a leaf okay this one these green colors we see here these all are leaf, leaves okay and then students and then uh, there is a bird okay so bird you can see here this is a bird okay this is small that bird means that is uh, uh, when that the flowers come before the uh, before the flower blossom the small portion come out from the plants and that that is called bud okay so uh, then the students and then it's become a flower and then it's become a fruits later on it's convert into the uh, fruits okay so the main six parts are there in a plants okay that is we have to keep it in mind root steam leaf okay um, bud fruits and flower okay student so you have to keep it in your mind this th uh, these six things okay what are the parts of the plants so you have to say root steam bird fruits leaf or and flower okay students so this is the parts of our plants okay so students now we are going to study uh, the types of plants okay uh, types of plants okay students there are different types of plants some plants are big and tall these plants are called tree okay some plants are big and tall look at here here are the some plants pictured okay so the plants which are very big and tall you might have seen there are many plants uh, these these are very tall and very big so they are called tree okay students so here we can say banyan tree okay this is the banyan tree okay then we can see the mango tree then we can see the um, palm tree and then we can see the pine tree okay students these are uh, very big and they are in uh, tall they are uh, tall okay so the tree uh, the plants which we call tree uh, they are very they have uh, a uh, very strong trunk okay so we can see trunk this these are the trunk okay they have a strong trunk okay uh, a tree bears fruits and flower they also have a branch and leaves okay students uh, this all trees okay the first group we are um, studying now that is uh, types of plants and the first types of plants are that is called tree okay the tree means which are very tall and uh, they have a small trunk okay student so these are called tree okay this tree also they bear fruits and flowers okay so you might have seen now uh, just we have uh, that the mango season is going to co over okay but uh, we might have seen the mangoes and a tree okay student so uh, these are called trees okay so now let's go to the next one and next one is shrubs okay next one is shrub and 
some plants are smaller than tree they are called shrubs okay students some plants are smaller than tree they are called shrub they have thin brown woody stem and branches rose cotton and hibiscus are shrubs okay students so we can see here now this this uh, plants have a very uh, uh, what we can say they have a, a small woody stem this see this one this is very small woody isn't it wood is there okay and uh, they are smaller than the tree we have already studied this is uh, uh, this is the tree tree are a very big okay and then the and then the shrubs have uh, uh, smaller they are smaller than the tree okay they are called shrubs uh, they have brown woody uh, woody stems and branches they also have uh, different parts like uh, the like a tree they also bear the fruits they also bear the flowers they also have the leaves okay students the plants which are smaller than the tree they are called shrubs okay students so we have uh, uh, seen here we have seen uh, we are seeing here the, this is the rose okay rose and then the cotton and the hibiscus okay students so these all plants are shrubs plants okay so the first one is the types of uh, plants and the first one is uh, tree and then the second was is and the second is shrubs okay students now let's go to the next one and the next one is herbs okay now look at these pictures herbs uh, very small plants are called herbs now very small plants like a uh, grass uh, like a uh, 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 like uh, mint okay they are very small they are very they have a very soft and green stem okay they have a very soft which we can pluck easily you can see here no they have a very very uh, soft okay they have a very soft uh, green stem so by with our hand we can take it easily we can pluck it okay so uh, they are called herbs okay students okay they are very smaller than the uh, smaller than the uh, shrub okay the grass means they are the uh, they are the uh, they are the example of herbs okay students so a very small plants are called herbs they are very small okay students now uh, here we can see the another one is types of plants that is climber okay students now look at the climber okay climber and creeper this both plants are the similar okay uh, i will explain it why then uh, they have divided into two groups okay so i will later on i will uh, discuss about this but uh, let's see the another types of plants that is climber okay the first one is types of one plants is called tree the second one is shrub and the third one is uh, herb and now we are going to uh, look uh, that the fourth one that is climber okay so climber and the creeper are in the same category but uh, it has divided into two okay let's see uh, climber okay climber are the very weak stem okay climbers plants have a very weak stream okay they are called climber and creeper okay we can see uh, we will uh, i will show you later that the creeper okay uh, this plants the climber plants have a very weak stem they can't stand itself okay they need a support okay they need a support without support they can't stand okay so that's why it is called climber okay it's need a support and here we can see the uh, grapes vine and the money plants okay grapes vine and the money plants so they are the example of climber okay and uh, it's also bear the fruits and flower but they are in a small size okay so 
Uh, this is um, the fruits is a very small size, and that's why it is kept in a uh, it it kept into the climber category. Okay. Now let's see the students the creeper. Okay. Now I, as I said before that the creeper and the climber tree are the both are slimmer. They also have they are also weak and they have a, uh, a ste uh, weak stem. Okay. And they uh, grow along the ground. Okay, they grow along the ground as the as the uh, that climber grow. Okay, but the climber we give support for them to stand, but we don't give we don't give support to the creeper. Why we don't give support to the creeper? Because the creeper fruits are very big in size. Okay, the the creeper plants. Okay, the creeper plants are very big in a size in fruit. Okay, student, that's why it is kept in a category of creeper. Okay, students, uh, creeper grow along the ground. Pumpkin and watermelon are creepers. Okay, we can see here creeper creeper plants and that that are the uh, pumpkin and watermelon. Okay, student. So today we have studied. Actually, there are five, but uh, um, here we have, uh, in give book it is given five, but actually that is four. Okay, student. So anyway, the first things, first types of plants is called tree, which are tall and strong. And second types of uh, uh, plants are called uh, that is sub, which are smaller than the tree, and their stems are. Uh, small woody uh, stems they have and then we have uh, uh, we have seen uh, about the herb uh, they are very weak they have a green soft uh, stem and uh, they are very small in a size and then we saw the some types of plants that is creeper and the uh, and the uh, that is climber okay student so this up to here today we have complete okay and the rest of the things we will continue tomorrow students okay let's see uh, today homework okay draw the pictures of plants and write its parts name okay students what you have to do you have to draw the pictures of plant okay plants or uh, one plants okay no, uh, one plant not all plants okay so you have to draw and write the names of their parts okay students so okay so bye bye this much for today okay okay have a nice day stay home stay safe okay bye bye